Delgado was so great in, in the few starts he made. And Julio Tehran, who's the Braves' number one pitching prospect, had a wonderful year, 15 wins at Gwinnett. But when he came up, he didn't seem quite as advanced as Delgado, who never pitched in AAA. Why does that happen? Who knows? You know what? Who knows? <laughs> it's, uh, you know, I think Delgado, he came up, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, he was in double A. Uh, and and you, you talk about different, you know, you, dealing with human beings. He, uh, he gets to start because Tehran had thrown the day before. Uh, he was scheduled to pitch at Gwinnett. So we were looking for a spot starter. So we go down to double A to get Delgado. His, play, his plane blows a tire uh, in, in Jackson, Mississippi. So he's, he gets here like two hours before game time. Is that, is that right, Brad? About two hours before game time. Major League debut. You know, he's in. You know, we had to go get him and rush him to the stadium, put him a uniform on. Here, go get him. You facing the Texas Rangers, correct? <laughs> the, yeah, the American League champions. Go get him. And he did great. You know, he did really. He did. He did fantastic. And, uh, and but both of those kids are going to be by him just being in the lineup. It, it adds a, a terrific presence to him. Uh, he's going to be 40 years. He's going to start the season at 40 years old with some, you know, a lot of injuries on the legs. So we'll we'll keep an eye on him uh, and. You know, maybe rest them a day game after a night game, or if we play an extra inning game, maybe give them the day off the next day. But he doesn't want he doesn't want days off. He wants to play. You know, he wants to play. And I remember, you know, we've got the schedule down. Okay, Chipper, we're going to travel. To, you know, we got a day game today, but we're going to go to the West Coast. I'm, I'm giving you Monday off, then play Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, good. Okay, Skip, I'm good. So here comes Monday. We're in LA, you know, and and he gets there early, so the lineup's up. His name's not on there like we planned. He comes to my locker to my office. He goes, "Hey, I, I want to play." I said, but. He said "We said that." Uh, he said, we, "We already made it out. You're not going to play today." He goes, "You want me in the lineup, or you want that other guy in the lineup?" I said, "Okay, you're playing." <laughs> <laughs> you know, so uh, I think this is why I need Greg, my, the lawyer for the Reds. No, I don't. I don't like the the format that it is currently right now, the interleague play. Now, I know they're going to change because of the uh, Houston is going to the American League next year. It's going to be 15 teams on both leagues. And I think I'm going to like it even less. <laughs> <laughs> because you're going to have to play. There's going to be, there's, there has to be, mathematically, there has to be an interleague series played every day. You know, because there's two 15 league team leagues. So somebody at the end of the year is going to get screwed on this you know let's say the Yankees for example are you know one game up or you know right there in the playoffs and now they got to come place Atlanta and they lose a DH for three days you know is that fair I, I don't know you know so but we'll see for April May and most of June Chipper Chipper comes up to me and goes if I'm went through what he went through those three months, I would quit. And this guy, <laughs> and this guy came to the ballpark every day. If you didn't know what he was hitting, and I, at one point I was trying to tell the, our entertainment staff not to put the batting average up. You know, because it's hard to come up every day and you look up and it's hitting 170, you know? And they well, they couldn't do it or something or whatever. I didn't have enough, enough pool to do that. I guess it would have came out But uh, it, uh, it, but he came to the ballpark every day and, and played. He ran, he ran, you know, hit a ground ball to, to shortstop, and he would run the same way. And the way he came to 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 the, it was great to see. Um, you know, he, he had a, a a rap, a bad rap. You know, he came to play. He can defend. You know, he's not a good. He did okay. You know, he did okay. And and he set a Atlanta Braves record for a hitting streak, 33, Brad, 33 game hitting streak. You know, and then at the end he had 30 home runs and almost. 80, 80 plus RBIs. So uh, I think we're going to see that Danny Ugla of of uh, what he, what he could give us than the than the Danny Ugla of April, May, and June of last year. And uh, but he is uh, same guy every day coming to the ballpark. Thank you, Freddie. Thank right. you for coming, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.